Hey guys, today we're looking at the HD SMC from Harden Arms. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to notice about this gun is it's kind of a goofy looking gun. Um, mainly because it's got this banana magazine in it. And that's because this is chambered in a 7.62x39. Uh, this is our Artemis build. If you guys have further questions about it, check out our Instagram. We have a lot of uh, information about it on there. Um, but what we're focusing on is the compensator here. Uh, Harden Arms has been coming out with a lot of new products and they've been really cool. Uh, we tested out their Crucible build and uh, that was an awesome little upper receiver combination with the compensator and the heat shield. Uh, now we are checking out their HD SMC. Now with Harden Arms, they've been doing a lot of stuff with aesthetically pleasing stuff. Uh, their Crucible, very sharp looking. This, really clean looking. Uh, when you look at it, it's just something that you really... Um, are drawn towards and it's different that's what I like about it too is it's a different look and uh, they're getting away from the norm from that other people are doing and they're trying new things um, this compensator can come as a whole like this is this is a, a whole assembly from Harden Arms upper um, barrel rail compensator or you can get it separately you can get this yourself and just have the comp and then build around it um, me personally I think the rails really complement this compensator the way this one does as you can see we'll do a little bit closer video here later about it after we uh, shoot it some but uh, it's just really complements this compensator the way this rail goes and the angle it ends and this comes out um, this is not something that you're gonna want to go with that has a rail that ends shorter than your barrel. You're gonna want your barrel and rail to be opposite lengths. You want your rail to be longer than the barrel for this because this compensator has a really thick profile. So if you let the rail end too short, it's gonna look really goofy at the end of the barrel. Um, but the fact that this rail keeps going past that barrel and ends halfway with the compensator, it gives it a really sharp look. Let's go ahead and take a closer look of this compensator here. As you can see here with the rail, the way it is cut, it really just matches the look of the HDSMC so well. So that's why I say that building this with a rail from Harden Arms would be the best bet to go because it really matches this uh, compensator so well. As you can see, you have these ports here on top. All the gases come through here and they shoot off the top and the gases that don't get caught from that blow out here on the sides with all these uh, ports here in this complete circle. It's in the radius of this entire uh, thing are ports as you can see because you can see straight through it. Um, what that prevents is with normal short barrel rifles or pistols you get a lot of that sway side to side and up and down. This pretty much eliminates um, all of that. It keeps your gun completely stable shooting straight back the way you want it and uh, keeps it a lot easier to maintain and keep on target. Um, now, I always say whenever I'm looking at compensators, I'm really not a big fan of them having ports on the bottom because when you're laying prone, you're gonna blow off those gases and it's gonna blow straight into your face, all that dirt and debris. Now with this one, I'm still not a big fan of it being on the bottom, but I'm a little bit more okay with it because most of the gases are coming out of these in this main port and then once it gets to us, it's not blowing off as much. Uh, so you're not getting the huge amount of blow but you're still getting it so that would be about the only downfall I see about this is the fact that they are pointing down so you're getting that downward burst. You can tell they did a lot of thought with this setup when they built this with the angles of the rail and the compensator together. Um, it's just a really aesthetically pleasing setup and uh, it's really sharp and I think a lot of people are really going to be into it just for that fact alone. Uh, then when they shoot it they're really going to fall in love with the compensator itself and how well it shoots. Like I said before, you can either buy it as a whole like this, or you can buy it separately with just the compensator like this one. Uh, this one is a 300 blackout. This is the 7.62. Uh, this one, we are going to be building a gun around it because of course, like you guys know, you get one piece, it gives you an excuse to build a complete gun around it. Um, at least that's what I'm gonna say. And it's a lot easier to convince my wife that way to build another gun. Um, but this is one, it's just like that one, like I was saying before, this is how it sits inside of it. So you've got the barrel ends about right here. So that's why you want your rail that goes extended past the barrel. Um, because if you didn't, you would just have a thing sticking out right here and it would look really goofy because your barrel's thin and then also this is really thick. Uh, the reason they did it so thick was because it makes more of a transition down to a smaller size. So it really looks you know, like it's meant to be that way and the way they um, go from large, medium, small, it uh, has a really cool look to it. So yeah, this is the compensator itself. This is exactly what it looks like if you bought it by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go out and shoot this guy and show you guys really how well this thing works.
this is something you guys would be interested in, make sure you guys check out Harden Arms. If you want this as a whole or just the compensator, you can get that there on their website. They also have a ton of other products there. If you guys aren't really fancy about this, you guys can get the Crucible or a lot of other setups they have. They have a lot of different rails and uh, products. So check out their website, it'll be in the description. If you guys are interested in the Artemis build and know more about it, check out our Instagram. We are also going to post a complete review video on our YouTube channel soon. This is really a unique um, gun with the caliber and it has a folding stock adapter from Sylvan Arms and a couple other really unique parts. Also check out Rideon. They have the optic from the Frankenstein AR-15 and they make really good products and optics. So check them out as well. Check out our full-time sponsor, USA Gun Bunker. He has done great work for us. He does Cerakoting, stippling, has a great website. So check him out. A link to his website will be in the description as well. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share uh, everything you can for our page. We really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much.